Okay, so we've finished printing our models. We have finished processing them. In the last video, I went over the wash technique. Um, so now they've been sitting in our light. Uh, if you want to take a look and down here, you can see we've got um, not in any particular order. We've got four uppers and four lowers. And so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab this guy. I'll come on out here. We have a little better light. And you can see, a little dusty, but you can see that it says step one right there on the side. So this is actually going to be our tray that has buttons on it. Uh, we're going to use this to uh, make the buttons or attachments, whatever you want to call them, um, on the patient. And then uh, step two will actually be the first functional liner that will start moving the teeth. So again, this is the, the mini star. You can get this at Great Lakes Ortho. Um, it's a positive pressure machine, so instead of a suck down where it uh, creates a vacuum and pulls the material tight, it actually uses positive pressure to push it down and it does a much better job of getting the aligner down into the crevices, into the embrasures, uh, much better adaptation. If you're doing aligners, I really encourage that. You can do bleaching trays and you can do maybe maybe final retainers with a suck down, but um, uh, I would say the Urcoform, Glidewell's Urcoform is probably one of the only ones that you can get good adaptation with a suck down. So anyway, this, there's a couple others out there, the Drufo Mat and the Drufo Smart, which are both uh, dense ply machines. So anyway, um, this is, set the model down here. This is our, our, one of our discs. This right here is an Essex um, uh, Ace 040. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this set on here. Remove this little guy. And the nice thing, they're round, uh, so make sure you order round. If you don't, take one round. When you buy the machine, I'll show you. And I actually have my old supply of square ones that I had for the suck down. I would put one of these down here, draw a line, and we would just cut. And it's, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it sets right in there. Now make sure that you lock it down. And now we're gonna go ahead and dial it up. Now, there's a little barcode scanner down here that'll, that will allow you to scan um, the specific material. There's lots of different settings, but we kind of just have a routine down. I'm gonna turn that off, and I'm gonna dial it up to 35 seconds. And then I'm gonna go ahead and swing this over here. So now it's gonna be heating up. Um, instead of a suck down where you have to kind of monitor and see where it droops and uh, you know, is it gonna be uh, adequate? Are you, are you gonna overstretch it? Is it gonna be too thin in the end or whatnot? You let the machine do its thing. So um, in just a moment, we're gonna remove the heating element. We're gonna slam this shut and lock it down by locking right here and you'll hear the pressure hit. Um, the timer then will kick on again, which will be kind of the cooling time, how much time we need to leave it. And at that point, we'll actually probably wrap up the video and then we'll um, come back and do another video of the actual processing of the material. So it gives you a nice, loud um, indicator. And so it just applied all the pressure. You hear a little sis, it's not too loud. When it's all done, after this time ticks down, you actually press the air button, that will release the pressure before you undo it. You actually can't turn this until you hit that button because think about it, if you did and you were able to turn it, the pressure would be so hard it would swing, swing that way and that would be pretty destructive. So it won't allow you to release it until you hit the air button. Um, and actually, since we're just about there, I'll go ahead and wait. Again, it's not too long, um, but we will do a separate video of the actual liner processing. Just for a heads up, there is a little thing right here in the front. It's got a bunch of BBs. You can actually use that to raise the material so that um, you can basically build a platform closer to the teeth. Uh, I don't, we don't do that for aligners, but uh, there are times when it's advantageous. So again, can't remove this, hit the air button, releases that pressure, and now you can. And actually unlock it now, I prefer to do that. Swing this away, and now we've got our pretty darn well adap adapted aligner. And that's about it. Next video, we'll talk about how we cut it and how we polish it and ready for the patient.